Every day our bodies make billions of new blood cells to replace older ones that die, either because they've come to the end of their natural lifespan or because of illness. All new blood cells are made in the bone marrow, the soft, spongy tissue that fills the inside of most bones. They originate from a single type of cell known as a stem cell. Stem cells have the unique ability of multiplying and developing into many different types of cells. Those in the bone marrow are known as hematopoietic stem cells. They have the ability to develop into any of the different types of blood cells, including red blood cells, which carry oxygen around the body, white blood cells, which form an important part of the immune system to help fight infection, and platelets, which are needed to help blood clot and stop any bleeding after an injury. In myeloma, chemical signals produced by the myeloma cells, called cytokines, stop the stem cells from developing into the different blood cell types. This can result in one or more of the following. Fewer red blood cells being made, causing anemia and fatigue fewer white blood cells, weakening the immune system and increasing the risk of infection, and lower amounts of platelets that can increase the risk of bleeding and bruising. As well as the myeloma itself, treatments for it, such as chemotherapy, can also stop stem cells from developing into new blood cells.